What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so now shouldn't make the entire for your remake barbershop. God, is this one leagues better than the old one. <laughs> um, I try to go with, like, I talk about it later too, I try to go with a mix of, like, classic and modern, and I think it turned out good enough for my standards. Um, also try to go with the theme, as you can see by some of the colors, although the main lobby kind of didn't fit that theme, because I made that before I decided that I wanted to make a theme like the way I did. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I really don't have a whole ton else to say about this, although I'm going to keep rambling because I don't want silence, because silence is bad. Uh, there's three of the rooms. Um, I forgot to add sinks originally, but I will add them later, so apparently I did have more to talk about. And uh, yeah, I'll talk about what everything is later as well, and hopefully you can figure it out. If you can, then that means it's good, I guess. But yeah, that's all I have to say, so with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to need for this is a 30, not a 31 by 29, you don't need any space. I almost just autopiloted to say that. You do need your barber shop from the other day though. That's something you need, which is a 31 by 29 space. <laughs> <clears throat> and the materials you're going to need to start off the inside of this are... Block of quartz, not smooth quartz, block of quartz. You could technically use chiseled quartz if you really wanted to, or quartz bricks. Uh, brick block multiple of them dark oak doors and birch doors mangrove planks light gray concrete chains and lanterns and because we have one more material left and I don't know what to do with it I'll say terracotta although I'm probably missing something and I'll probably realize then to be like, oh god. Uh, yeah, I would also recommend getting out night vision. I'm just gonna do the slash effect thing. I don't want that many seconds. 1001, true. <clears throat> and you want to start off by coming inside your... Okay, that worked well. Coming inside your barber shop, and the first thing you want to do is break your entire grass floor and replace it with block of quartz. Should I do this live? I guess I should do this live. And I said that I mean, should I do slash fill or not? Maybe. Maybe I should. Hope everyone is having a good day or night. I am for the most. I'm actually not gonna uh, slash well. It's not that big of an interior in general. I mean, it's uh, it's a good, it's a solid size, but it's not like overly detailed or anything. <clears throat> it's not like each block is covered with some fancy. I don't particularly go with that fancy. Although this was one of the more interesting ones. I tried to go with like a mixture of modern and like old feeling. And I think I did that kind of nice-ish. The old, the outside looks more classic than modern in my opinion, which is not something I normally do. Which feels weird to do, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, on another note, I guess since I have the door, I might as well just do it now. There. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. It's just, right now it's Tuesday, I think. I genuinely don't know. Once school starts, I'll be like, okay, yup, we're three days away from Friday. But since I'm not in school yet, I don't know what day of the week it is. That's how summer goes. It's just like, what day is it again? I meant to turn my volume up and I turned it all the way down. That's cool. Um, but, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I don't have a whole time else to talk about. Other than I have a frog in my throat for some reason, and it's really annoying. <coughs> I'm okay. I worked on Little Nightmares 2 for the first time in like three years today, so that was pretty cool. Even though I haven't even been doing the project for three years. It's been about a year and a half, not even a year and a half, a year and like three months or something. Four, maybe. Hasn't been that long. But I uh, am. Yeah. I only did like a couple dumpsters and stuff. But no, thanks, Minecraft ambiance. I guess just to get it out of the way, once we fill this in, we'll do the ceiling. Just because the ceiling is the same thing, it's just a flat thing. Because there's no lights embedded into the ceiling, so you might as well just do that and then fill the gap in between. Once we stack after that, so which is now you should have a very bright floor. 
Come to the red concrete. It's on top. It's the red concrete on top of the uh, windows. And first off, if you want to replace it with light gray concrete, you can because what you want to do is in line with it. You want to fill in your entire ceiling in with light gray concrete. Yeah, part two of filling in a big area without anything to talk about. Yeah, there's really nothing for me to talk about yet. In a week, I'll have something to talk about, surely. But right now, there's nothing. Uh, yeah. Although, I've been having to transfer the videos that I'm uploading to my PC and upload them from there because my PlayStation does not like the internet. So, it's been fun. But, that's the only thing I really have to say. That's not necessarily important, that's just really infuriating. But, uh... Yeah. Hopefully, it will figure itself out. It was fine yesterday when I streamed. Which would have been two days ago by the time you're seeing this. When I streamed Square Mania, it seemed okay, but it struggled still. Uh, but that was because it was storming. I think if it wasn't, it would have been fine. And if I was doing, like, normal Let's Build a City or something, it would also would have been fine. But, I don't know. It's so fluky. If it was consistently good or consistently bad, it'd be better. But it's inconsistently everything. So. Yeah, there you go. They have a ceiling. I actually kind of like the way that looks. The light gray concrete ceiling. I don't do that very often. Normally I'd have switched the two. But, you know. <clears throat> Alright, you want to come to the front left hand corner. And from this block of quartz, you want to... One moment, I gotta get my note sheet out. Where is it? There it is. You want to count back by seven. And you want to place a brick block. Bring it right with a dark oak door. I didn't mean to open it, but okay. Nine brick blocks. Then go back with eight. And then left with ten. And that'll connect to the wall. And that'll be one room. Pretty simple. Come to the front right hand corner of that room again. And you want to count, or you want to go right with eleven bricks. Two dark oak doors and a brick block. Come to the second brick left of those double doors and you want to bring it back by seven. Then go left with a dark oak door on the back face of that block. And then connect left with, hold on. What? Nine bricks. And the ninth one will actually be this brick, so you want to count back to this corner and then go back from that with two dark oak doors. And then... Five brick blocks to connect to the wall. Like that. If that didn't make any sense, th these these three rooms share like two walls. It's really weird. But uh, yeah, there you go. I don't know why I did it like that. It was because I was trying to... You'll see why. I made the rooms a little odd, like some sizings are different and stuff that they shouldn't be. Because I'm trying to line up with these mangrove planks in between the windows. <laughs> like every wall does. Uh, you want to come to the second brick block behind the double doors and you want to bring it right with six bricks, birch door, brick, birch door, and then five bricks. And then you want to take the brick in between those two birch doors and just connect it back. Now. Bring every brick block or dark oak door or birch door up with mangrove planks until it touches the light gray concrete ceiling. There was something I wanted to say. Oh yeah, the bathrooms are also different sizings because of the way that the windows work. Um, because there's the two in the corner and then the next ones are all three except for the other two at the end. Um, whatever you want to do for that, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you just don't care if you want to make one specific or have something else different in it, feel free. I just made them exactly the same, minus the gapping a little, the spacing is a little bit different because of that, but other than that, it's the same. <clears throat> There's not anything interesting that I was like, yeah, I'm going to make this the fanciest thing ever. No, I didn't use that, really, I guess, technically three total blocks of space any differently than I did with the other uh, three less. I guess if that makes sense, which it kind of doesn't, but it's fine. This is a pretty simple build, though. There's not a whole lot to it. It's kind of just walls and rooms, although the rooms are decorated, I think, in my opinion, quite nicely, but I made it, so I can't really be the judge of that. I can think my own building looks amazing. Uh, back when I used to think that old Walmart was good, I don't know what I was thinking, 
But, uh, yeah, now I realize that it's a piece of garbage. But that is an example. Again, it just depends on your, like, building standards. Maybe you think this is the greatest thing you've ever seen, or maybe you think it's a piece of trash. That's really, I don't care either way. But I would prefer some feedback if you have any, as far as what I could have improved on, what I could have changed, all that good stuff. So, come back to the main lobby, which is the front room. If you're lost, uh, that's tough, I don't know. <laughs> but it's the big long room that spans the entire build. You want to, so I don't have an exact number for this, but I think I should figure it out. You want to come to the fourth brick right of the single door on the left side, and you want to bring it forward with three terracotta. Then go bring that front block right by seven, yes. Actually, eight, do eight. Yeah, do eight. And this is kind of going to be hard to figure out, I guess. Find the center terracotta, and you want to stand on it, I guess. And then you want to look straight up, and either forward a block or in line with it, doesn't really matter. You want to place a lantern on the ceiling. I'd go forward a block only because of the way that the math works. Then bring that lantern left and right with a chain with a lantern below it. Then bring each of those out with a two with two chains with a lantern below. Then from there, go out with one chain with a lantern. And then just a lantern. And that kind of gives you this cool looking uh, effect. Which I personally like. If your thing looks stupid and it's the dumbest thing you've ever seen, change it. I don't care how you do the lightings, I just want to show you what I did. And I went with some off symmetry of parts. This one's symmetrical. Then some of the rooms it's symmetrical. Which we can actually go through the one door here and find the center on the right wall and count to, we'll say the third or fourth like I conquered on the ceiling moving forward. I'll go fourth. And you want to here place a lantern. And forward and, back and backward of that place a chain and then another lantern and then below the chains also place a lantern. So it'll give you that. It's just a smaller version of what we have at the front. And then you want to do this in all three of these roughly similar sized rooms. However, it's going to be on a different wall each time, so I'll tell you that in a sec. But also, when you come to the double door here on the right side, I'd place... What did I do? Okay, I place a chain coming down from either light gray concrete above the door. I missed. And I'd say the left one may bring down with an additional chain, and then bring either bottom chain down with a lantern. Just like that, just to give some off symmetry. And I'll worry about the other two rooms last that are similarly sized to that one, just because I don't know. And I'd come into the hallway. Thank you, ambiance. And in the corner, you see you have a 2x2 two two here in the center. And I'd bring each block down with a chain, and then maybe do diagonals, bring those chains down with a lantern, and then the other diagonal, a chain, and then a lantern. Just to give you that. Kind of fancy lighting. Probably something you'd see in a modern building, but I don't know. It's like my, um, one of the chandeliers I made. I don't remember, it might have been, a uh, Grand Mansion. No. What was it? Well, it might have been. I don't remember, but I made something like that that was a chandelier-esque thing, and I think it looks cool. It's not anything, like, extreme, but it looks cool. And then in either bathroom, I just do roughly center, top-ish, chain with a lantern below it. Nothing special here. Although, the one is a one-block center, and the one is a two-block center, so I guess figure out if you want to do anything special there. And then the other set of double dark oak doors, I did the same thing that I did with the front set, like that. And then this room, the single dark oak door room in the hallway, it's the wall that is at the front side of the build. I'm almost positive, although let me double check, or let me see if I can double check. Yeah, it is. And again, I'd go third, like I conquered out, or fourth, doesn't matter. Place a lantern in the center, left and right with a chain, and then left and right with a lantern, and then bring each chain down with a lantern. It's really nothing, like, extreme. And that the other room, it is from the left wall, which is the far wall from the doors. So here, and I'd go third one out here, or fourth one out here, just because of the sizing of the room. And I might have done some, no, I don't think I did anything on the other side. So yeah, I apologize if I kind of sped through that, but they're really not that hard. I mean, they're just lights. You can't even fit through that, that's weird. I would expect you to be able to. Alrighty. Let's start with the main lobby, because the main lobby is easy. But what you want to do first is probably clear inventory. And get out. Stone brick stairs. 
Uh, oh boy, hold on. I'll go Dark Oak Signs just cause, although uh, we might also use those a little bit later, but I'll try to keep it the same. God dang it. Spruce Wood Stairs. Bookshelves. Leaf block of your choice. I used oak before. I'm gonna use, just for some color, I'll use flowering azalea because I like that. You could even use a combination of the two azaleas, but I'm gonna wait on that to see if I have the inventory space. Uh, flower pot and a flower or two of your choice. Again, I'm only gonna go one. I'm gonna go, hmm. I'll go lily of the valley. That's a nice one. Uh, spruce trap doors. And we have room for one more thing, but I think that's all we need, which is upsetting. So I'm going to actually use that last inventory spot for the normal azalea leaves. And first off along the uh, counter here facing towards the back of the build, I just placed two stone brick stairs three blocks apart from each other in even distances from either side. And on the uh, face that is facing towards the front of the build, place a dark oak sign. You can put like a number on that or something if you want, but this is just, I don't know. Be like, all right, pay the uh, pay, pay me. How about that? Just pay me. Don't even pay the barber. I get all the money. Um, so the way this pattern works is really quite simple. <laughs> uh, you want to come to diagonally down from the window and in line with this brick block, you want to place a bookshelf. Then going across the front, you want to place spruce stair, bookshelf, spruce stair, bookshelf. Spruce stair, two bookshelves, spruce stair, bookshelf, spruce stair, bookshelf, spruce stair, two bookshelves, spruce stair, bookshelf, spruce stair, bookshelf, spruce stair, bookshelf. And you have this pattern. Now wherever there is the either the var and bookshelves or the two in the middle, you want to bring up with three leaf blocks of your choice. I'm going to start, start with flowering azalea and I'll add a couple normal azalea in here just to kind of break it up a little bit like maybe like I don't even know, just like that. Something pretty simple. That looks nice. I think breaking it up does look make it look a lot nicer than just having it all the flowering version. And then what you can do is you can place on top of each top leaf block, place a spruce trap door, and then just connect them all together above the windows. And this kind of gives you a whole setup. Uh, you really don't need to do this part specifically. I just wanted to add it because I figured that it would look cool to kind of have it look like it is all one section together. And then on the other bookshelves you can place, not on the floor, but on the other bookshelves, flower pots with flowers of your choice in them. I'm going to use all Lily of the Valley, although you probably should mix it up a little bit. Also, those are cursed from the floor. That looks extremely cursed. It's not even because it's a face or anything. It's just because, like, from this angle, it's like, okay, wait, does it actually do that? I've never paid attention. Okay, it does. Why is that so cursed to me? But, uh, yeah. Preferably we won't forget about this room, but come to the back hallway and above the two birch doors you want to place signs, one saying men and one saying women. I, I, I always do a line down and in all caps. I'd keep it consistent whatever you do. You don't specifically have to do the same thing that I do and I forgot I had night vision. I always do that. And then I guess just to get the bathrooms out of the way. Clear inventory and get out glowing sacks, bone meal. Smooth quartz blocks. Smooth quartz stairs. This time I went oak trap doors. Levers. Cauldrons. Composters. And actually, never mind. That's all. Uh, first off, you want to left click once with glowing second, once with bone meal or white dye on either sign. Then come into their bathroom, and I'd go along the far wall that's three blocks, so furthest from the door. Smooth quartz block in the center. Towards you with an upside down smooth quartz stair. Stair up with an oak trap door. Oak trap door back, technically, with a smooth quartz block. Then lever left of that. Then somewhere along the actual back wall, I'd place coal with a lever above it, powered on, and then a compost with an oak trap door on top as well. Just like that. Pretty simple. Do that in the other bathroom. Something I forgot as well 
well, first off, spacing will obviously be different, but I forgot about sinks in the actual room, so, um, yeah, and also I'd recommend going to the main lobby and just placing in either back corner compost with an oak trap door on top, just so you have trash cans, I don't know. They're nice to put around, they don't particularly look like the ugliest things in the world. And what's nice is if you take, I don't even think you can, no, you can't do it with bone meal, I don't even know why I tried that, because you get bone meal from it. But let's say you take, I don't know, cacti, I think. Yeah, you can fill it up and make it actually look like there's trash in there. So that's cool. Let me check something. Okay, I guess since we're in the main lobby, let's go back to that uh, room on the left side here. And let's do this one. Clear inventory and get out. Oh, I forgot to take note of something. Hold on. I'll say gray terracotta. I'm pretty sure it's gray terracotta, but I always get gray and black mixed up. Stripped dark oak wood or logs doesn't make a difference. Dark oak wood stairs and dark oak wood planks. Packed, I or sorry, not not blue. Packed, I grab blue. Uh, you could, I guess, use blue ice or normal ice. Normal ice does have the little bit of um transparency, which can be nice, can not be nice. Just depends on what you would prefer. And um, anything else? Well, I know there's other stuff. Dark oak wood slabs. Mm, stone bricks. Stone brick wall, and we'll go spruce trap door. This is very infuriating, and you'll see why in a second here. Along the right wall, thanks Minecraft Dombi on Spark 2, you want to place a gray terracotta along the floor. Bring the front and back blocks each up with two strip dark oak wood, and then bring the middle block up with three. Like so. Bring either end strip dark oak wood up with the dark oak wood stair facing away from the center. Then go in with a plank, up with a stair, and then place three planks in the middle. Fill in these, like, um, kind of trapezoid shapes in with packed ice or normal ice. I actually want to try normal ice for a sec. Normal ice may look better. I'm going to go with normal ice. Because it has the slight transparency. Just as long as it doesn't melt. But yeah, see, as long as it doesn't melt. Uh, if you don't particularly mind in your world, you can turn off the ticking speed. Um, or tick speed. Or maybe cover them in barriers. Well, that might not help because it still might melt through the barriers. I'm not sure exactly how to fix that. I don't know. There's probably some sort of a life hack. Although it's Minecraft, so. Bring the raw gray terracotta out by one, and then you have a counter. Cool. I'm going to make an adjustment to our inventory. Get rid of your dark oak planks. We're going to use the slabs instead. And you want to get out spruce signs, just because we need them. And making sure you want to leave a three block gap in the middle so I'll say one block away from the counter in line with the edges of the packed ice you want to break a f into the floor and place a stone brick then go up with a stone brick wall and then up with a spruce trap door moving towards you so left you want to place another spruce trap door and you want to left click it so it is opened like so and then at the um Every open side, I guess, now with the front, so the uh, left and right from the actual front, or the uh, front and back from the actual front of the build, front of the chair, I meant for the first one. You want to place spruce signs like this. This is one of the chair designs I'm most proud of, only because it's something that I've never even tried before. <laughs> and then just for fun, I did on the left wall here, this wall. I placed row of ups and down dark oak slabs along the bottom, and then I placed rows of them going up and getting shorter on either side by one until you reach the top. I did that on the uh, nursery in the Square Mania stream yesterday, or I guess the other day at this point, and uh, I liked the design, so I figured I'd do it again, but I did kind of shorten it down a little bit, and I guess if you wanted, you could place dark oak stairs at the end like this, although that wouldn't really work very well with a one block center. Cent center? Center. But, uh, yeah. 
I just want to kind of see what this looks like. Other than the top, it looks weird. Or it looks fine, I mean. The top looks weird. But I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll leave it because I think it's better without that weirdness. And, uh, yeah, now... You want to basically do that in the other two rooms, except it's oriented a little bit differently. And I would recommend starting with this front room here. So, or I guess the room that you first encounter when you hit the hallway. Not the one with the double doors. You want to again place a great terracotta at the back and bring a towards your row. Back row, bring the left and right up with two strip dark oak wood. And then the middle up with three. This one is a little wider too. But it's the same thing. So basically, I'm going to double check that I know what I am doing. Cool, I do. I just want to place a dark oak wood stair facing away from the middle on top of either end. In with a plank using your slabs now. Off with a stair again facing outward. And then it'll be, I think, five planks in the middle now. Like that. And then the middle fill in with packed ice. So this one's a three by three square with the corner taken out like that and I think this one looks better that's my opinion and if you even wanted to add like trap dark oak trap doors or something over these just to make them pop a little bit more that might not be a terrible idea and then now you can do the middle of the window I guess the thing yeah and you want to come to the second block of quartz that is visible and just break it in the floor of the stone brick bring it up with the stone brick wall spruce trap door preferably not open then place a spruce trap door actually behind it this time that is uh opened technically and then place a spruce sign left and right of that front trap door not slab excuse me just like that pretty simple and obviously just for clarification this is where you'd get your actual haircut and you can see yourself in the mirror so that's always fun I don't know I guess. And in the corner, I actually just placed an uh, upside down dark oak slab, brought it up with another upside down slab, and also brought that bottom one left and. I guess forward and right by one, not left. Can't go left. But yeah, I like that. We absolutely speedrunnered this, so we have one more room left. Same thing along the left wall, place a gray terracotta, bring the front and back ones up with two strip dark oak wood, in the middle up with three. Stare on top of either, um, and. Frick. Uh, <laughs> log, uh, in with a plank, off with a stair, and then place the three planks in the middle. Fill in the two centers in with packed ice. And then, just like, I don't know. One block out, or no, actually bring the great terracotta out a row. Forgot about that step. Did I forget about that on the first one? Hold on. I might have. Okay, no, I didn't. I was like, wait. Because the the spacing felt weird, but I guess it's because the room sizes are all different. But, uh, yeah, and then again, just a second. Uh, quartz out, break it with the stone brick. Place, replace it with a stone brick. Up of the wall, up of the trap door. Another trap door going away from the mirror that is opened, technically. Sign on either side that is going to be the little, like, handle, not handles, armrests. And, um, there's that done. Now, while we're in this room, we have one other thing to do, and then I'm going to try to remember to do the last step, but no promises there. You have the five blocks here behind the door. I'd go the first four, I'd place gray terracotta. Then bring either end up with three strip dark oak wood. And bring the top block, I guess technically left with a dark oak wood sub, so towards the mirror. But we're not going to orient that way, we're going to orient so we're looking head on and it's everything is based off that. Place a dark oak trap door on top of either end, strip dark oak wood facing away. And then connect it together with two planks. Fill in the center with packed ice. And then you can get rid of your, I'll say, spruce trap doors and stone brick walls. And get out spruce wood stairs and glass blocks. And below either dark oak uh, plank, or slab, I mean, place a glass block. And then in line with the gray terracotta, place a spruce wood stair. And then signs left and right of each one. If that was a little bit quick... Hopefully you should be able to just 
like understand it by just looking at it because it's not that complicated it's not like it's anything wild these are those weird things i don't even know what they exactly do but they like go over your head and maybe dry your hair i'm not sure i don't pay attention but uh they're there and i know they're there and i made them in the last one too and i don't think they looked any better i think i made this one better a because i just think that it fits the theme more that was what i was trying to go with here you could even do something like this if you really wanted to go crazy uh but yeah i didn't forget clear inventory and get our cauldrons levers composters and oak trap doors and wherever you can fit in each room try to place a cauldron with a lever above it powered on and maybe somewhere else compost with an oak trap door on top there you see where i put them in this room obviously you really only need it in the three uh rooms that we have here and oh this one's gonna be tough I guess in the middle here, place the cauldron, maybe on the side, place the compost. I'm actually not even... Nah, I'll bed this one into the thing. Actually, no, I won't. I'll have it stick out, but be there. There's this room. There's really no specific order to this. A, I didn't... I mean, I added the composters, I think, originally. Did I? Maybe I didn't. Uh, but... You... I forgot the sinks were a thing. And then this room, it's not particularly that hard, just, I guess symmetry like that but uh yeah and what you've done that ladies and gentlemen that is the end here for your remake barber shop complete way better than the old one the old one was trash and this one actually just looks sleek that's i think the difference between my old ones and my new ones my old ones just look kind of clunkier i think my new ones have more of like a similar look to one like they just i don't know they look better together like if you take all of my old ones versus all my new ones all my new ones would all like fit together better than my old ones like i don't know how to explain what i'm trying to think that's the best way i can explain it they just they all feel like they'd fit in a city together most of them i mean there's a couple that wouldn't probably maybe the chick-fil-a that i made wouldn't but that's kind of just how chick-fil-a looks but if that doesn't want to end this video, I'm going to shut up and end it. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments below. Feel free to give me some feedback. And yeah, have a fantastic dinner, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.